Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not an investment advice. So this video is another deep explanation video. And uh, yes, this video will be about how to identify consolidating mar market, yes, uh, consolidation area, how to identify the cons consolidation area, because I got so many questions about this, yes, and so many of my students, yes, and also my subscriber are asking me this over and over again, how to identify a consolidating market, how to identify the consolidation area before the consolidation area begins, yes. And uh, I will show you now um, in this kind of video how you can recognize this. And I have said this already sometimes, yes, in some live trading videos. And so I would say, please watch my live trading videos. Yes, because there I have explained each and everything uh, more in detail, practice, in practice, yes, not only theory, in practice. So, okay, I will, have, I will do this uh, today a little bit more faster. Uh, this here, uh, here we have not uh, so much to discuss. You see, this is the last candle of the uh, uh, Friday evening, yes. And here you cannot say anything about the next candle. The only thing what you can say is that this is a high wave candle. This upper shadow is showing selling pressure. We are in a consolidation area most probably between the 50 EMA and the 20 EMA. And so I can, I can say that the next candle will most probably something like a weak doji, a doji or a weak candle, yes, which will finish in between of the 20 and the 50 EMA. And so what should you do? Yes, you if you want to trade the next candle right, you do or a put option above the 50 EMA, yes, depending if you get a rejection, yes, or you do a call option below the 20 EMA, yes, and using this kind of area here as a support level, yes, that are the two options which you could do, yes, and uh, I would prefer to do uh, put on the next candle, yes, from above the 50 EMA because we have ranging market and I have explained this over and over again. In ranging market, you can expect that the next candle will be a retracement and uh, I'm believing here that price would retrace back to the 20 EMA and then most probably after this it would continue to going up, yes, because you know there are always retracements after a uh, ranging market. So you see here Friday evening the market has lost a lot of volume, yes, and that were the last candles. Here is not so much to explain and so we will go immediately to the topic, yes, about the consolidation area, yes, and uh, here you see already a no rejection trading setup, which I have explained in my ebook. And uh, let me first of all talk a little bit about the ebook, the price action guide, the price action bible, yes, and also about the bot mentorship program and the self study video packs because um, uh, the questions about this will never end. I don't know why. Yes, uh, I got so many questions over and over again and that is consuming my time, uh, uh, which uh, I, I cannot always answer all of them. Yes, and uh, so I'm trying to cover these things fast now here in this kind of uh, video, fast at the beginning. So here we have the price action guide, the black book. Yes, the black book is included in the price action bible. That means that means if you have the price action bible, you don't need any more the price action guide. I have so many customers of the price action guide and of the price action bible and those ones are asking me, do I need both of them? No, you don't need both of them. You need all the price action guide or the price action bible. The price action guide is uh, has 120 pages illustrations only illustrations you get here only images with a small description yes but in general only 120 
um, pages of illustrations. You see here only drawings with some kind of errors which are showing no rejection trading setup which uh, I was talking about a few seconds ago. Yes, this one what we have here is a no rejection trading setup. Here you see the uh, resistance level and on the resistance level you do here a put. Yes, and that is a no rejection trading setup in a major downtrend below the two, uh, two deviation which shows that you are have here a strong downtrend. Yes, so let me show you this no rejection trading setup here. Um, it is this one here. Yes, this look at this. That is this one here. Yes, this kind of scenario is a put. You see, uh, no rejection trading setup put in a strong downtrend. Downtrend, yes, here. Um, and uh, yes, that is the ebook, the price action. Here you have this, um, the, 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 this kinds of uh, uh, no rejection trading setup again. Trend continuation, yes, downtrend. Here you have the uptrend continuation, trend continuation and uptrend, downtrend and here on healthy market you have all the kind reversal candles and that is what is included uh, a part of this in the bot uh, price action guide which is with 120 pages only illustrations. Yes, I will show you this. Here's another one, really nice one. Here you see how he is studying and uh, doing here uh, printing everything and learning how to trade the market, yes, yeah, really nice, really, uh, and here another student who has uh, printed it and is trading and try, uh, trying to do the sure shots. So let me show you fast the broad price action guide, the black one. That is the black one. I show you now here all the kind of pages. That are the pages. <coughs> let me uh, show you this fast so that you get an overview um, the, to understand what the difference is between the price action guide and the price action bible. So we have here the price action guide and you see here that are all those kind of concepts yes, or which I have explained 120 pages of concepts everything explained nice you see here um, it started with Candlestick patterns, yes. Uh, before we this, we have mindset for consistent profits. Then we have here the candlestick patterns, all candlestick patterns here, yes, candlestick patterns. Then we have here the chart patterns. Then you get all the chart patterns. Then you got here binary options to trading concepts. And then the, the concepts, all this kind of stuff. You see a lot of uh, illustrations, illustrations, everything explained. All this kind of stuff is price action related and will give you the insight how to understand trading better. You see, it's really everything in this kind of guide. And uh, obviously, that is the seventh edition. Uh, soon there will be most probably more coming more editions. Yes, but at the way, at this is already a good guide. I will do add also some more bot sure shots. Yes, and uh, yes, that is what here high profitability trading setup. That are the bot sure shots. Yes, and you see nice organized everything. That is the bot price action guide, the black one. Yes, the black one. Let me show you this. Again, here, this black one. So, and now they are coming often the question, what is the difference between the bot price action guide and the white one? Yes, the white one, the bot price action Bible. So, that is the bot price action Bible. <clears throat> and to see here, you have the same context, uh, context, sorry. So, you have the same concepts. So you have the same concepts in the props, props about price action Bible, yes, in the white one, yes, again, white, yes, but with the only difference that you have 270 pages, yes, you have the same concepts, but the bot price action Bible is not only illustrations, you have also text explanation, yes, that is the main difference between the bot price action guide and the bot price action Bible, everything is explained in detail, yes, on the price action Bible, you see this here, everything, criteria, pattern, uh, psychology, support and resistance, entry point, how to trade, what to do, what you have not to do, and obviously the illustrations, yes. And you see here, nice mark up, pin up, yes. Some of my students has pushed this on the wall and is studying it all exactly like this, yes. With all the marked uh, areas here where he has 
printed this out and is studying those kind of stuff. So let me show you the difference of the bot price action Bible. If you um, need an explanation, a, a really good explanation of every kind of concept, you need the bot price action Bible. Yes. If you are willing to spend your time watching my videos, yes, and uh, and trying to understand those kind of concepts on your own, yes, then you can handle this also with the bot price action guide. Yes, with the black one. But uh, I can only say if you uh, think um, to um, yes to study it's real yes it's really real yes then I can only uh, suggest you to get the price action Bible because the price action Bible and I will show you this has re uh, really everything so that is the price action Bible and let me show you the difference because you have seen before the price action guide and now you are seeing here the price action Bible so you got here we start here immediately with the mindset for consistent profit that is nearly the same with uh, this of the price action guide and then we have the difference you see here we have the candlestick patterns and then you see this this is what is in the price action guide this is what's new in the price action Bible so then you get the next one this is what you get in the price action guide and these four pages here are new in the price action Bible this is what you have in the price action guide and this is what you get in the price action Bible and so you get here 200 70 pages full of knowledge yes which i have gained in years of experience and has brought here on the paper no other ebook is so complete like the buy price action bible and the price action guide yes and not nothing else is much worse your money than this yes there's no book out there which covers all those kind of concepts which are applicable for binary options digital options fx options forex cryptocurrency any kind of market any kind of time frame and any kind of broker yes you can apply this everywhere yes and also because i got often this question also for the otc market yes over the counter uh, market which is um, uh, driven by the uh, brokers yes also there is working this are uh, working those kind of concepts so then you get here the chart patterns you see the chart patterns also the chart patterns this is what you get in the price action guide and this is what you get in the price action bible every kind of chart pattern uh, the separately covered with the uh, obviously with the topics criteria, pattern psychology, support and resistance, entry point, how to trade, where to trade, and what not to trade and how not to trade. Yes, because the, you can do also something wrong by doing this kind of uh, patterns if you are not waiting for those concepts which I have explained. So then we have here the binary options turbo trading concepts this is what you get in the price action guide this is what you get in the price action bible yes so that is this one so and that is uh, through all that are 200 you see it has to load in it will take some time maybe yes let me see if uh, if it's loading in it's not loading in i don't know why okay but it doesn't matter so um, let me scroll a little bit more so that i have covered this fast you see everything is explained this is what you get in the price action guide this is what you get in the price action bible and that is going through all the concepts with no rejection trading setup let me see if i can find the no rejection trading yes that was the no rejection trading setup number three yes trend continuation that is this one here trend continuation look at this yes here this is one yes you have here a resistance level and on the resistance level you enter into a continuation from the rejection from this resistance level into a continuation yes and uh, that are all those kind of things so let me scroll a little bit more down so that you can get a better overview about that what you get for the price action bible so then we have also those kind of concepts about support and resistance here is explained what a major support and resistance is about what not yes how you trade where you can find the support and resistance levels 
based on the um, on the candlestick patterns there is also ex explained that you have to apply this concepts to all other concepts that, that you cannot do this only based on uh, uh, only on this kind of candlestick which I'm drawing there because there are one million different candlestick patterns yes and candlesticks yes and they can have every kind of form with lower shadow lower shadow upper shadow lower shadow and so on and so on I cannot draw them everything you have only to understand these concepts which I have explained here in the ebook and that should be it. here we have candlestick psychology what the, the single candlesticks are meaning yes and everything explained you see one two three four five six seven eight uh, and then also explained what they are telling you so market condition stuff here we have uh, how to read the Bollinger bands how to um, read uh, the EMAs Yes, and uh, how to uh, draw Fibonacci levels and how to trade the Fibonacci level, how you trade the correlation of um, um, yes of um, currency pairs. Yes, a correlation of currency pairs. Then we have here also how you have to understand the upper and the lower shadow depending on the position of a trend, and so on and so on. Then we have here also the bot pro mentorship program stuff, application process, the steps in the application process. Everything is explained in this price action bible, and you see also the bot sure shots that are the same amount of the bot sure shots. This is what you get on the price action guide. And these two pages are especially for every kind of shoe shot. You get two pages because once it's a call option and once it's a put option. Yes, it is one this one and the other one is this one. And so you have everything really detailed, really explained on the point how to trade those kind of high probability trading setups and other concepts. Yes, which I have explained here completely. You see, 270 pages, best knowledge which you could get. For your money yes and uh, that is the price action bible this bible is the white one yes that is the bible the white one and the black one is the guide yes so and then we are getting now to the next topic and that are the video packs yes the intent instant access to my core knowledge gained in years of experience i can say only if you want to improve your trading dramatically yes not only a little bit dramatically yes you get this video packs yes there, is, there are four video packs the first video pack is as a uh, beginner pack which uh, has 104 videos uh, only from those kind of uh, uh, beginner in my bot mentorship program that are trades which have done my students and uh, i explain in this video packs exactly what the students are doing good what they are doing wrong what they could do better and what they should avoid and also with suggestions how and where to trade right yes and that is what is the core knowledge of my uh, yes was my core knowledge which i have gained in years of experience that nobody can tell you because at the end you need this kind of practical knowledge and <coughs> sorry and that is when i'm explaining that to my students and begin the video pack one is beginner video pack two is uh, moderate yes moderate traders video pack three is uh, for um, advanced traders yes and video pack four is for the pros yes that is also divided in the specific weeks of the bot mentorship program week one yes and that will be also available when after i will stop with my bot mentorship program yes so you have still the possibility to get this kind of video packs maybe i will uh, uh, make some more of those kind of videos later but uh, the part of the specific point is that can you study on your own yes you don't need to have some kind of commitment you don't need to um, uh, have a, a, a time schedule for this you can watch this kind of videos and i promise you yes that you will improve your trading dramatically this video packs are a gold mine uh, i get so many um, emails from my students from my subscribers from uh, uh, traders who are bu buying this kind of video packs those one who bought the video pack one have bought also the video pack two video pack three and video pack four because they have seen that the trading improved yes they improved dramatically really really dramatically and that's the reason why they are buying video pack one till 
video pack for and then I get so many nice uh, reviews from my uh, subscribers and those one who bought for my customers who bought this video packs and they are so happy that they got this video packs because this, this video packs are really instant access to my core knowledge gained in years of experience and that is what this kind of video packs are about a self-study modules for an, for an account, yes, for, for, for packs, video pack 1 beginner, video pack 2 moderate, video pack 3 advance and if you are a pro uh, you, or you want to become a pro after you have watched the previous ones, you can get also the video pack 4 which is much more advanced and there you learn everything from discipline uh, over, um, over patience. Uh, to um, money management and um, yes and how to do your trades that is what the most important part is because I have so many students who not understand how to do their trades yes and uh, they trade and mostly they are lucky and because that is the, 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 the difficult part is this they think a lucky trade would be a good trade yes and because they are doing a lucky trade and they think it's a good trade then they trade the, the same thing with a real account and then they're going to lose and then they're asking themselves why is this not working now when I'm trading with real account is a broker manipulating no the broker is not manipulating, the broker doesn't need to manipulate, yes, because your psychology will do already everything that you are going to lose money if you don't have the confidence to execute the trades right, if you don't have the confidence to know what kind of trades are the right ones, yes, and you are trading uh, uh, without any kind of guide, yes, any kind of uh, of um, pass, uh, how can I explain this, a mentor or coach who is a uh, uh, behind you and telling you no this is not good or this is good yes and that is what the video pack one two three four is giving you they are giving you a uh, um, uh, deep insight in those kind uh, of things how to do the trades and what kind of trades are good and what kind of trades are wrong yes that is what i'm also showing in the deep explanation videos but uh, i don't know why this is not reaching the brain of my uh, subscribers and of my traders uh, and of, of my students yes because they are doing over and over again the same mistakes and I'm asking me why are, is this happening I don't know they are focusing maybe on the wrong things okay that is the video pack one and uh, there are video pack two three and four and that are also you can find the what pri price action guide in the uh, in the uh, description the link to this price action guide you can pay it via uh, PayPal <coughs> so I have to name this via PayPal we are a um, uh, credit card, we are a Skrill, Nectella, uh, Bitcoin, any kind of cryptocurrency, web money, everything uh, is available. If you um, have not the option here of this PayHip site, you can contact me via email and I can uh, tell you how you can do provide this payment. The same is valid also for the bot price action guide. You can pay here also with every kind of payment method. You can uh, tell me what you have and uh, I can suggest you how you can do this payment and then you will get this. Uh, also, you don't need to have a PayPal account. You don't need to have a credit card. You can pay on so many other ways too. And that is what I have to say also because I got almost often this question and you'll find the link in the description and the email where you can contact me, you find the, the email also in the description. It's called botobotrader at gmail.com. Yes, for those one who uh, uh, do not can find them because I have also uh, some comments in the YouTube channel uh, where somebody asked me, I cannot find the uh, email address in the description. Sorry. If you don't find the email address in the description, what, uh, what what do you want from me that I give you? Yes, because at the end, if you are not able to give to take action on your own, yes, and not even to find an email address in the description, don't expect from me that I I'm carrying your your ass uh, behind you. So uh, do your movement, do that what you have to do your action. Yes, because I'm not your mother. Yes, and uh, that makes me again uh, going upset because I try to get calm because so many uh, has told me that. I'm getting too too angry, too upset. Yes, but uh, when I'm thinking about such things, that somebody is not even um, 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 uh, able to search an email address in the description, how how, the, how how do you want to trade? I don't know this, and that makes me again upset. But I try to calm down again. So and. 
Z was this one. So you find the link in the description. So you find my email address in the description to contact me. Yes. And you find also the chart which I'm showing today in the description uh, in the to in my on my um, in the description you will find the link to the to the uh, Instagram account where I will publish the screenshots, the real chart of this uh, um, video and also um, yes, and also my email address where you can contact me and you can send me an email with the um, sub subject chart 7 yes, and I will send you the chart. So that are those kind of three things. There's the bot price action guide, the bot price action bible and uh, uh, the video pack. And the last thing what I'm talking about is the bot mentorship program and here I have to say again the time is passing by. I will soon finishing and stopping this bot mentorship program. Uh, you will not be a mentor me anymore by me soon. Yes. So if you want to join the bot mentorship program, so got into in action and enroll the application process. And for the application process, you need to uh, send me only an email to botobotrader at gmail.com. Yes. And uh, with the subject bot mentorship program you cannot buy this bot mentorship program immediately you have to go through the application process the application process takes a while yes so if you want to get into it so step into the um, enrollment of the application process now yes now not uh, later not tomorrow not next week now yes because uh, as soon um, yes, uh, I, because when I'm stopping, I'm only um, educating and only mentoring only those one who got in the application process now. Yes, um, and uh, maybe the next two weeks or three weeks and then I will not mentoring them anymore. I will mentor those one which are still in uh, which are uh, still in the mentorship program. So that are the last students which I'm educating them and then I will give this to my bot mentors. Yes, and uh, that will be then the next step. But if you want to be uh, get educated by myself, by me, yes, then you have to get into, uh, yes, you have to move your feet and you have to get into the bot mentorship program in the application process. I will show you this fast and then we are going uh, to the topic about how to identify, yes, how to identify consolidating market and uh, this will be a really great knowledge for you, yes, which nobody has told you till now and uh, you will see. Uh, uh, that this will help you trading and understanding when consolidation area will start and you will not be any more trapped by the market. So, okay, let me see. That is this one here, the application process. Send an email to my bot mentorship, to my email, botobotrader at gmail.com with the subject, subject bot mentorship program. Then you get into the application process. The application process is an eight step way. Yes, you can get rejected at any point. Um, uh, if you are, this kind of process is the determination of the price of the bot mentorship program. Yes, the price of the bot mentorship program depends from the steps which you are doing here. Yes, better you pass through those kind of steps, less your price of the bot mentorship program. If you got rejected, you can try again after you have learned some more or studied or practiced some more. Yes, and then you can apply again. So it's not an all time rejection. Yes, it's only a sign for you that you have to learn some more. The application process itself is for free. Yes, and so you have nothing to risk. But you have to engage. If you are not engaging and you are not covering this kind of topics and this kind of steps, I will remove you from the bot mentorship application process. Why? Because I have only a, a, a specific amount of spots available in this application process. Yes, and I cannot cover everyone. And if you are occupying any kind of place in the bot application process, yes, then I have to say that is not the way you do it yeah, because it's not the way that you open the door, yes, and then you let the door open. We are not in China, yes, where uh, uh, they have no doors, yes. If you open the door, you have to go through it, yes, and I will close the door because I have uh, I have so many students and then I have all so many applications applicants who want to become successful profitable traders who want to um, get a living in financial freedom yes who are willing to work hard for their dreams and I cannot permit anybody who is not willing to do this 
to uh, occupy and this kind of spots which I have available for uh, which would be available for those ones. That is the same thing yes for if you would um, uh, steal somebody uh, something else. Yes, that is not what I can uh, um, um, uh, what I can. Um, um, uh, support yes that is what I'm going to do that is the reason why I'm uh, uh, writing also some of my applicants uh, that they have that they have to tell me if they are still interested in the application process in the bot mentorship program or not and if they are not uh, any more interested I will make available space for new applicants yes um, uh, because uh, that cannot be that they are occupying space uh, and spots which other ones can uh, use really well yes because they want to realize their dreams yes and uh, if you are not willing to do this yes because i got so many uh, of applicants who are always telling me the same things uh, first three questions of my application process which i'm asking is do are you are you willing to dedicate your time to uh, become a successful profitable trader and I will say says yes yes we are dedicating everything every time you want yes everything the second question is are you willing to invest money yes to become a successful profitable trader yes yes uh, are we gonna invest money yes I will do everything what you are uh, requesting me and the third question is are you willing to dedicate yourself to this kind of bot mentorship uh, program to become a successful profitable trader yes yes we do this we do this yes and then nothing then nothing yes then uh, the application process uh, will not be continued yes and uh, after three weeks i ask them if they are still in interested in the bot mentorship program and in the application process and they tell me no they are not in any more interested so please if you read the first three questions and you answer this then please answer those kind of three questions honestly yes because i will reject you immediately and that will uh, w uh um, uh, will save me and you a lot of time yes because why are you answering else yes 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 if you are not meaning this you will never be a successful trader in this case yes because you take you have to take responsibility you have to take to take responsibility for your trades you have um, uh, taking responsibility for your actions yes for that what you are doing for your decisions yes and uh, and also for that what you are saying what kind of man what kind of girl are you if you don't stand behind those words which you are telling yes um, I know uh, uh, that is also the reason why the application process is not a multiple choice test because I know uh, doing some crosses is much easier than writing something and that is what this is about yes I want to see your engagement I want to see how how much you know yes and depending on the application process will be the fee of the bot mentorship program and I can say to you get into the bot mentorship program and in the application process as soon as possible because later it will be more it will cost much more yes it's uh, now it's really affordable nobody of my students said something about it would be not affordable it would be uh, too much it uh, uh, they say almost that it's really uh, really cheap yes it's really cheap convenient yes the price of the bot mentorship program but you have to get through the application process very well to get this good price of the bot mentorship program but i can say uh, in general the next weeks yes it will increase again it increased already twice yes and it will increase again yes because uh, i get much more students much more students yes and all those kind of students are consuming my time and my time is limited yes and so i have to increase the, the amount and so you i can only say get into the bot mentorship program application process by sending me the email now yes now uh, don't do this tomorrow yes do this now because you have to take action so and that was already i have talked enough about this kind of stuff i'm a little bit sad about this that i have to name this over and over again yes but i get so many questions always the same questions and i don't know what the other um, other uh, subscribers and uh, those one who are seeing my videos my audience is watching but uh, maybe they are not watching this kind of videos yes but i am hoping that uh, someday this kind of questions will finish and uh, that uh, i can uh, cover uh, those kind of topics much faster 
but at the end I'm doing this at the beginning so you can uh, uh, skip uh, to the halfway or something like this you do a fast skip and then you get uh, your content what you need okay so that was this one uh, again you find the link in the description you, uh, you find the email in the description yes because I get this always and always and always again these questions and now we are going to start to discuss how <coughs> sorry so and now we are going to discuss this kind of topic um, yes how to identify how to identify a consolidation a consolidating marketing a market and uh, yes and consolidation market so i have prepared already here some kind of chart so that is the chart from today i uh, if you want this chart you can send me an email with um, the subject chart 7 yes uh, and i will send you this or you can find the link in the description where uh, the a link to the Instagram account is where I will publish this kind of uh, chart, live chart. This is not an invented chart. This is not a chart which I have, uh, uh, um, yes, which I have, uh, how it's called, um, 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 invented. Yes, it's a real chart. Okay, so let me see. So in that we are getting immediately here into this topic. And uh, you see we are coming here from an uptrend. We had an uptrend, then we got a reversal here at the one deviation or two deviation Bollinger Band. And then we are going now far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. Yes, and now you see here the first sign how to identify a consolidating market. I will show you here my trades, which I have done. And uh, you see here I didn't have done a trade in the first minutes because I was not sure what's happening. And uh, you see immediately the first sign on what you identify immediately that you are getting into a consolidation area. So first of all, we have this bearish candle. This bearish candle is showing selling pressure, yes, because it's a bearish candle. The next candle, yes, we broke here this kind of support and resistance level based off the round number. And then, uh, so we changed the polarity. This, uh, this support level became resistance, yes, and here you see the rejection from this candle. This could have been a first trade which you have, could have done, yes, because of the change of polarity. Let me show you this concept fast. So that uh, because I got again the questions from some of my audience, they want to see those kind of concepts which I'm talking about. So you need this kind of concept. Yes, this kind of concept here. Yes, uh, where you see it's uh, this kind of candle here. The third candle is this one what we have uh, there. And then you need also this kind of concepts where we are talking about the change of polarity. Let me find this fast uh, because there are so many. This also, yes, but we have no... So let me see, where do we have this um, consolidation? What was it exactly? Here, this one. These concepts are about support and resistance. You break out, break out of the support and resistance level here. It was a minor one. After we got breakout, we got a now here a, a major one. This is also one of those concepts which one of my Facebook um, moderators are trading. Yes, the, he is trading exactly this kind of stuff. It's uh, I think he is called uh, Marcus Yep. Yes, he is doing exactly this kind of concept. He is trading this kind of major support and resistance. I can show you this maybe in the next video. I will do something like this when I'm doing again some live trading videos. How you can spot this. Yes, he has a minor support and resistance level. He waits that this kind of area will be broken. And after this, he trades this major support and resistance level. Yes, and uh, the same concepts. The same concept is explained here more in detail. That is here how to identify Fox breakout. And you see here, you have here this kind of uh, level. And after this was a minute support and resistance level. After this, this minute support and resistance level get broken again. And because it's an area and not only a line, you have a major support and resistance level as it's a zone. Yes, it's a zone. And that's the reason how you can trade them this kind of major support and resistance level based on this kind of concepts yes and then obviously the last one that is this one yes where we are talking about the change of polarity you see it's the same concept all three have the same concepts only that it's also really divided in a specific part yes from middle and sub minor and major support and resistance level the change of polarity and here you can see again yes you got here 
resistance level, resistance, this resistance level got broken, yes, and after this, here you trade the support, it's something like the last kiss too, yes, let me show you this in, um, in, uh, in detail again, so that you understand what I'm talking here about, so we have the last kiss, that is this one here, break out, here, break out, and then pull back, yes, that is what's going on, neckline is here the support and resistance level, support and resistance level will be broken, price got back to this level, and then you trade the pullback from this level, yes, and that is what support and resistance, this support, this resistance level will be broken, and after this resistance level will be broken, we have now here a support level, okay, that is those kind of concepts, it's always the same, nothing special, yes, but so many do not get the point, and asking what what is this strategy about? What is this technique about? Yes. What is this concept about? It's only that you have to switch on your brain, yes, and having some kind of common sense, and then you will handle this. So now we are get again here how to identify consolidating market consolidation area in binary options price action trading with candlestick psychology. And here we have uh, the first sign. What is the first sign that you have a consolidation area? You have the first sign for to have a consolidation area is that you have some kind of trading range and that the candlesticks are not unfolding like expected. That means we have here this kind of candle, this kind of candle, what is this? This is a bullish engulfing candle after a downtrend. This bullish engulfing candle is not unfolding like expected that is forming here a no rejection trading setup so first of all that is already the first sign that we are getting into a consolidation area far away from the two deviation bollinger band in between of the one deviation upper bollinger band and the one deviation lower bollinger band um, after a bollinger squeeze let me show you this yes you have to get this together here then you get this point yes so here what is a expect here? Bollinger squeeze, consolidation area, okay? Ranging market, consolidation area. So on the EMAs, yes? Consolidation area, constriction of the EMAs is a consolidation area, okay? Here, crossing is consolidation area, okay? So you got it, okay? That is what I mean. You have to understand that those concepts you have only to get the points out of the concepts and then you have to switch your brain on and then you understand how you can recognize um, a consolidation area on the market yes uh, only based on those kind of concepts and that what the candlestick pattern are telling you so let me show you again an example so bullish engulfing candle bullish engulfing candle is not unfolding consolidation area yes the next one is the next one is this is a bearish engulfing candle. Bearish engulfing candle is not unfolding. Yes, yes. That is not only a bearish engulfing candle. This is also a no rejection trading setup. This no rejection trading setup is not unfolding. What does this mean exactly? We have not a strong trend because if we would have a strong trend, this um, no rejection trading setup would have been unfolded exactly. Yes. So we have here a second one. This is another sign that we have here this kind of consolidation area so that is what you have to do to understand if there is a consolidation area or not you have to understand first of all what the indicators are telling you the second one is where the price is in relation to the Bollinger Bands and the EMAs yes and, this, uh, and then the third thing is how the candlestick patterns are unfolding depending how they unfold or if they are unfolding or if they are not unfolding you understand immediately if you are not uh, if you are in a consolidation area or not and if you have a consolidation area like here yes then there are only two things to do the first thing is you do a call option in this kind of area uh, sorry you do a put option on this kind of area um, uh, at this kind of level of this support and resistance level which is here this kind of round number or you do call options here below from this kind of support and resistance area where the other part is yes the trading range of the consolidation area and I don't know why so many are not doing this yes so many are not doing this they are trading in between so in a consolidation area the trade after this candle is not an option 
You have not, you cannot do a trade after this. Why? Because you are here in between. Here in between, you have a 50-50 chance that everything can happen. Price can go up, price can go down, price can reject from the upper uh, support and resistance level, price can reject from the lower uh, support and resistance level. Yes, and that is luck. This is gambling. Yes, that is not trading. That is not what I can suggest you as a trade uh, to be a trader in. Uh, between of a consolidation area you have not to trade you have to trade at the edges of the consolidation area or you can trade uh, um, uh, in between of the consolidation area if you have a really good candlestick pattern which is giving you a confirmation that the next candle will be a bullish one for example if you have here a hammer a pin bar with a longer lower shadow which touch this area here you can do on the next candle a call then because that would show you that you have a lot of buying pressure the price is still in the consolidation area and that the price will continue to going up that you can do this because that will increase your probability that the next candlestick will uh, uh, that you understand the direction on what also if it's in the consolidation area there is enough buying pressure selling pressure or whatever in the market to go against the consolidation area edges yes and that is what you can do but if you have such kind of weak candles don't trade a next candle in between of the consolidation area you will get mostly out of the money so what do we have here we have here an engulfing uh, a morning star yes for those one who think morning star do does this morning star unfold that is the question answer the question on yourself yes and uh, because i know that we are here in a consolidation area i traded the next candle and the next candle was not that what most of those one are trading that it was not a call the next candle was a put and i traded this put and uh, i traded this put on the rejection from this kind of uh, support and resistance level uh, and not only above the closing price yes because i understood we are here in a consolidation area so i'm trading at the edges of the consolidation area so the next candle was this so that was the next candle, yes, and that was a nice in the money, yes, because I understood we are here in a consolidation area, so I'm traded in, I would trade in this kind of area puts, yes, and as long as there is no sign that this will be a breakout or something like this, you can trade the consolidation area like this, yes, and here you can do calls. So after this, I didn't have done a trade because uh, we are here again here in between of the consolidation area, and I was not sure what's going on, and so I waited. Uh, for the next one because this kind of bearish engulfing candle was exactly like the other ones it has not to unfold yes because we are in a consolidation area in a consolidation area uh, candlesticks do not unfold like ex you expect and that's the reason why i'm not trading the candlestick itself i'm trading the edges of the Bollinger Band, the edges of the ranging market. If you are getting this in a lower time frame, you have ranging markets. This is what a consolidation area is about. Yes, and that what are you doing? Yes, you are trading at the edges of the Bollinger Band. Yes, or of the edges of the support and resistance levels. Yes, or uh, yes, that is what you are doing when we are trading in a ranging market. This kind of scenario. Let me show you this so that you get this point now. Um, so uh, I hope that I don't need to do another video about this. So if you have here the Bollinger Bands, let me see, this is the AMA. So we have the Bollinger Band and we have ranging market and this is a two deviation Bollinger Band. Yes. And this is a one deviation Bollinger Band. And you see it's a two deviation, first reversal at the two deviation, second reversal at the one deviation Bollinger Band. Uh, but we are trading at the Bollinger Band. If you are watching this kind of Bollinger Band, what is this looking like? It's a consolidation area. Yes, because if you are doing candlestick mass in this kind of consolidation area, uh, in this kind of ranging market, <clears throat> then you understand that it's nothing else than that what we have here. Yes, this is ranging market. And that is how you have to trade this kind of consolidation area. So let me show you this. So, and uh, before I get a switch again, so we have consolidation uh, market, yes, and we have we are trading here at the edges, yes, and that is what we are doing also in the consolidation area. How do you spot a consolidation area? <coughs> Sorry, yes, after a Bollinger squeeze, then we have 
this kind of ball consolidation and then what we are doing here the same what we have done here trading at the edges of the Bollinger Band yes or the edges of the support and resistance level which is also the same like this one here let me show you this um, this one here look, look at this here this one like this one here as yes, where we have the ranging market yes uh, or we have this like this yes or you have this like this where you trade here at the edges or outside yes and also here consolidation at the edges or outside depending obviously if you have a breakout or not and that is what we are going to do yes if you are trading in a consolidation area and i hope that i don't get any more any kind of question how to trade in a consolidation area yes because you see i have explained this over and over again and i still get this kind of questions and i feel a little bit um taken um uh, yes uh, a little bit um tricked okay anyway okay so sorry i have stopped the video <coughs> sorry i have stopped the video accidentally yes so um yes um now i have two part video uh, because uh, i clicked on the wrong uh, set on the wrong um on the wrong button but anyway so the next candle was this okay so that was the next candle so and here we are getting now an important stuff which i'm trying to teach my all my students and always everybody who is watching my videos now it's the time to trade because this candle here is showing yes this candle showing selling pressure this candle has broken out of the support and resistance level of this kind of consolidation area we are getting here into a breakout and that is the case to do a trend continuation trade exactly now that can be done on emas that can be done on support and resistance levels that can be done on the Fibonacci level, that can be done on Bollinger Bands, uh, two deviation, one deviation, wherever. Everywhere where you have support and resistance, you can do this. And that was the next trade. So I traded this kind of trade here at the edge of the consolidation area. I am trading the next candle after the breakout of the consolidation area. What I'm going to do, I'm entering above the closing price of the previous candle. How does the candle to move? The candle has to move. First up in the purchase time and in the expiration time, you have to imagine, you have to look forward that the candle will go down again. Yes, I will show you those kind of concepts so that you get this and you understand this once forever. Yes, that I don't need to cover this again. So first of all, this one consolidation area. What are you doing? Trading at the edges here of the uh, support and resistance level or the key level. Yes, that is what I have done on the first trade. The second trade will be exactly the same stuff. Yes, you are entering above the support and resistance level to get a trend continuation done. You do a put, you have to enter above this kind of support and resistance level where the box range is, the box range breakout, okay? That is this one. Then this kind of concept of the 7th edition ebook and the Bible Action Bible where you talk about the up and down movement. What has to do happen? What has to happen? Price has to go in the purchase time up and in the expiration time down to do a put. That is so simple. It's ex I, I don't know how I can show you this much better. Yes, but this is so simple. You have only to apply those kind of things which, and when I'm seeing this, how, when I'm showing you this kind, this kind of uh, examples, which, where I show you how it's exactly done based on the price action bible and the price action guide then i'm asking to myself why are so many failing you see here that is so easy yes up in the purchase time then you can expect that price get back in the consolidation area in the um in the expiration time so and that is first of all this and then we are talking about that kind of concepts which you don't have to forget that is the concept about the entry point. I don't know where it was. Yes, here. This one where we talk about the entry point. If you have a candle before, you have to try to get into the trade above or below the closing price of the previous candle. But if you have a key level, uh, EMA, Fibonacci level, um, Bollinger Bands, 
uh, one deviation, two deviation, EMAs, whatever, support and resistance, you have to use the support and resistance level to get your entry point done. And then it's almost above or below. So you have seen now this kind of concept. So let me show you what I have done here because I have to hurry a little bit up because else I need again 200 hours to uh, convert this. Last time I converted more than uh, 15 hours or 13 hours. It was really crazy. The, the, the computer was running all the day only to converting this kind of video. So, okay. I entered on the next candle above the support and resistance level into a trend continuation because I expected the change of polarity, which I have shown you before. And the next candle was this. So, you see, yes, price closed below the support and resistance level. It got back, it got a retracement back to this level, yes. And what is this now showing you? Exactly, that was exactly the next trade what I have done, yes. Uh, I have done here on the next candle, uh, what? Uh, yes, a trend continue, a reversal trade, a reversal trade, yes, because that was a fake breakout. If you get this kind of weak candle after price is breaking through the support and resistance level, then you have the process of elimination. This candle showing selling pressure. This selling pressure is not unfolding. So you go into a reversal trade. And that is what I have done on the next candle. I entered into a call and the next candle was again this. So that was the next candle, a nice victory candle. So you could now obviously doing also the next trade, doing a call, yes, because this kind of candle has broken this support and resistance level of this box range. This box range can be used here as a support and resistance level. This is a major support and resistance. You can rely on it, yes, so you can trade it, yes. Um, uh, I didn't have done this, yes, because I was not sure what's happening because we are still into a ranging market. So I didn't trade the next candle. The next candle was this. So that was the next candle. You see, you could have done a nice call here below into the direction of the uptrend, new upcoming uptrend after this breakout of this support and resistance level based on this round number. Yes, and after this, I entered into a put trade because that was again the process of elimination. Another fake breakout was coming up. Yes, I show you the concept about the fake breakout. We got here a fake breakout. You cannot see this, but this fake breakout was of this support and resistance level. And not only, there's also of the middle Bollinger Band and the pullback from the 20 EMA. You can see this on the live chart. But important was this one here. Why I have done this put trade? Because this was a process of elimination in combination, in combination with this ranging market. Yes, and obviously this kind of wick which was showing selling pressure because this wick is trying to get below and was not able to go below this but it shows that we have selling pressure and that's the reason uh, why I entered into a put on the next candle after the process of elimination. So I want to show you this process of elimination here. Yes, let me show you this. I have shown this uh, already so often, but uh, it's important that you understand that that are the most important candlestick and chart, uh, the most important um, uh, concepts. That is the reason why I'm asking them also in the application process um, and uh, that, you, that are those things. So here you see the process of elimination. It's uh, not exactly the same stuff. Yes, here you are here. You see we have a bullish engulfing candle which is showing buying pressure. Yes. And uh, because of the next candle was weak, you got a reversal. And the same is here also. You got a bearish candle, a bearish um, inverted uh, bearish hammer. After this, you get a weak candle, then you can expect that it goes up. Or you get a big, huge candle, then you get a weak candle, then you can expect, if it happens on a key level, that it reverses. That are those kind of concepts, yes. And that is what I'm trying always to explain you. That is what you have to get in your head, yes, when you're trading. So, Marabudo candle like, um, weak candle, this week, uh, week is showing selling pressure. On the, the rejection from above, I'm entering into the next candle, into a put, yes, and that was what happened. So that was the next candle. So and on the next candle I entered again into a put and why? Because we got here this kind of engulfing, a uh, kind of uh, evening star. This evening star has broken, you cannot see this, yes, but has broken uh, and uh, touched also the 20 EMA. 
in confluence with this kind of support and resistance level yes and that because we have now here price action on the left and that is what so many are asking me always what is price action on the left that is price action on the left yes because here you have a lot of price action and that means that this candle yes the next following candle after this will most probably continue the downtrend if it's breaking through any kind of support and resistance level this candle has broken the 20 ema and so i entered and that are those of my favorite trades the trend continuation after the breakout and change of polarity and that was the next candle after this i have done a put here after this candle of an evening star continuation trade and uh, that looks like this so and now i have to speed up a little bit yes because um, the last trade which i have done was a little bit later so this candle broke the 20 ema i entered into the rejection from this 20 ema into a put yes got this in the money too yes next candle was this okay so next candle was this so the next candle was this so and after this candle i entered into a trade again why you cannot see this yes but this candle has broken the 50 ema and those kind of trades are my favorite trades after you break any kind of EMA, you use this EMA as a resistance and that's the reason. This candlestick is showing selling pressure and after the selling pressure, I'm entering into a put trade on the next candle and the next candle was this. So, and the next candle was then this. So, I have done already all my trades. Yes, there were six trades and uh, then this was the next candle. So, and the last two candles were this. So, and that was it already, yes, that was my trade. Uh, I can show you again the trades. <clears throat> that was this trade here out of the consolidation area. Yes, from above a put. Then I have done here from above a put uh, after this candle has shown me selling pressure and the breakout of this box range. Then I have entered into a call after I understood that this would be a pullback from the 20 EMA. Yes, important here, pullback from the 20 EMA. Uh, wait. Uh, pull back from the 20 EMA and then uh, I have entered into this kind of trade because of the morning, uh, morning star. Then I entered here into a put uh, because this was a process of elimination. Yes. Then here we broke the 20 EMA and the social spot and resistance level. I entered into a put from above here and then I have entered here after this candle has broken the 50 EMA uh into a put yes after this because of the trend continuation because this candle was showing selling pressure i will show you now the chart one second so here you see the chart yes and here you see also again the um, the, um, the um, in this case the trades this put trade here of this box range then this kind of put trade here from the support and resistance this kind of call trade because i understood that we get here a pullback you see here we are here between the one deviation and one deviation this is consolidation area we got here also a bollinger squeeze which was confirming this too and then we were here in this kind of ranging i traded this kind of trend continuation here we got a fake breakout of the one deviation i entered here into a put on this kind of candle because we got here this kind of ranging market and you have to trade at the edges of the bollinger band in this case of the one deviation boiling up and this candle has broken the one the 20 ema and the support and resistance level so i entered into a put of this one this was also the uh, price probability trading setup trade yes and then you see i didn't trade all the time here I didn't trade all the time. I traded after I got this kind of bearish and pin bar, which was showing me selling pressure and has broken the 50 EMA as a trend continuation here on this kind of candle. And that is how you have to choose your trading setup. Yes? You don't have to trade each and every candlestick. You have to wait that you understand what's going on. Yes, and then you trade the edges of the consolidation area, fake breakouts, fake breakout. Uh, evening star, yes, uh, breakout, support and resistance, 
change of polarity and change of polarity. And those trades here, this one and this one, that are the most best, the best trades. And that are those ones which I like the most, waiting that the EMAs are getting broken and using them as support and resistance. Break off the EMAs and using them as support and resistance. And that are uh, highest probability trading setups. Okay, so that was it. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye bye.